S equals R times theta. S is the length of the arc. Okay, so I'm going to label my picture uh, to go along with my equation here. S is the arc length. Okay, that's S. R is, of course, our radius. And theta is the central angle. But here's the key. Theta has to be in radians. Theta must be in radians. Now, the reason why we put it in radians is because what it's doing, when you put it in radian form, it's taking in consideration that proportion of the whole circle. Okay? 30 degrees in radian form represents the proportion of the entire uh, 360 degrees that that 30 degrees represents. Okay? So, theta must be in radians in order to use this formula. So I could have also solved that last problem that we looked at. I could have just done, um, I could have converted 225 degrees to radians by dividing by 180 and turning it into a fraction. Okay, 5 pi over 4, and then multiplied that, 5 pi over 4 is my angle, multiplied it by my radius of 5, and I get the exact same answer. I the exact same answer, and I didn't have to figure out the circumference. Okay, I didn't have to figure out the circumference, and I didn't have to set up uh, that ratio and solve it. So this formula, if you have the radius and the angle, or you could have the length of the arc, and they could be asking you about the radius or the angle. Um, this formula will get you there a little bit quicker. Okay? So, uh, let's look at an example of this. Make sure you got this formula written down, because you need to know it. S equals R times theta. S is the arc length. R is the radius. Theta is in radius. <clears throat> Alright, so here's an application problem. What if I want to find the perimeter of a 60 degree slice of a large pizza, we're going to assume that the large pizza has a 7 inch radius. I want to find the perimeter of that slice of pizza. So the sides are easy, right? I know how long the sides are. How long are the sides of my slice of pizza? 7 inches. Because hopefully they cut it right at the pizza place. You know, sometimes they don't. But we're going to assume that we've got some perfect pizza cutters here. They cut it exactly correct along the diameters there. <clears throat> so the sides of our pizza are seven inches because they should be radii. Right but the question is we gotta find the perimeter. We gotta find the whole edge of the slice of pizza. We got the two edges, but we don't have the curved edge. We don't have the crust. Okay, well that's an arc. That crust right there is an arc. It's a proportion of our circumference. So, let's use our formula. The arc length, S, equals R7 times theta, but theta has to be in radians. 60 degrees is not in radians. So, over here to the side, we've got to convert 60 degrees to radians. So, i got to multiply by pi over 180, so that gives me pi over 3 radians. So this is a real world application problem, so we're going to multiply it all the way out. Usually I would leave it 7 pi over 3, but we want to know the actual length. So that tells us that the arc or the crust of our pizza is 7.33 inches long. And then we want the perimeter, so we got to add the two sides. They were each 7, so we got to add 14 to that. So the perimeter of the 60 degree slice of pizza is 21.33 inches. Okay. Pretty simple, right? Yes, ma'am. Because the the R, the S was just the crust of the pizza. It wanted the perimeter of this whole slice, so it's the crust plus the two sides. <clears throat> okay, now let's just look at some 
just regular, let's do use the formula kind of problems, okay? So let's find the length of each arc. If the radius is 8 and our theta is 5 pi over 4, that's straightforward, okay? We've got the radius, theta is in radians, so all we have to do is multiply it out. S equals 8 times 5 pi over 4, and we're just going to add that to our calculator and we'll crunch the numbers. 8 times 5 pi over 4. So the length of this arc is approximately 31.416. And we need to include units, okay? Be in the habit of including units. That is inches. Okay, second example, we've got to do a little, little bit of work because theta is not in radians. Theta is in degrees. So we've got to convert those 200 degrees to radians first. Multiplying by pi over 180. So that's... 200 over 180, reduce that fraction. 10 pi over 9 is our angle in radians. So S equals 2 times 10 pi over 9. I've got the 10 over 9 in my calculator, so I've just got to multiply by the 2 and the pi. So that rate, uh, arc is 6.981 meters. One more. We've got our radius. Theta is in radians, so we don't have to do any extra work here. We can just plug and chug. 15 times pi over 11. So we get 15 pi over 11 gives us 4.284 yards. Now, when you're doing these, try to make sense of, of your answers, okay? Compare them to your radius. This last one is much smaller than our radius because pi over 11 is a very small angle. Pi over 11 is not a very big angle. Um, but like B, our answer is bigger than our radius. Our radius is 2. Our answer is a little bit bigger than our radius because 200 that's more than half of the circle. So you're talking about more than half of your circumference is this arc. So you expect it to be a little bit bigger of a number. Um, same thing with the first example. Our radius was 8 inches, 5 pi over 4. We could convert it to degrees if we really wanted to, but that one's also more than half of our circle. Um, so that it kind of makes sense that the arc is bigger than the uh, radius, okay? Uh, but it's never going to be bigger than your circumference, okay? It's never going to be bigger than your, than your circumference. So I say that for like example B. Sometimes people get a little carried away and they just say, oh, well that's 2 times 200. That's 400. Uh, hang on, that doesn't make sense. Okay, 400 meters for this arc length. My radius is just two. We need to, to go back and, and check something there. Okay, so they should be close, but they are going to be uh, a little different. All right. <clears throat> um, if you have room on your ticket out the door page.